In the previous video, we learned about the safe co-location of files, a feature supported by default in Next.js. In this video, we will explore private folders, a feature provided by Next.js to help you effectively organize your project. A private folder indicates that it is a private implementation detail and should not be considered by the routing system. This means that the folder and all its subfolders are excluded from routing. To create a private folder, you simply prefix the folder name with an underscore. Let me show you an example. Back in VS Code, inside the app folder, let's create a new folder called underscore lib. Within this folder, you can have utility functions such as format date dot ts. We won't dive into the implementation details now, but I want you to focus on this next file we are about to create. Within the lib folder, page.tsx. In this file, I'll define a simple React component. The component name is private route, and the h1 renders the text. You cannot view this in the browser. Normally, this page.tsx file would correspond to the URL localhost 3000 slash underscore lib. However, the underscore before lib makes this a private folder, making page.tsx unroutable. If you try to navigate to localhost 3000 slash underscore lib, you will encounter a 404 page not found error. Private folders can be helpful in a few different scenarios. For separating UI logic from routing logic, for consistently organizing internal files across a project, for sorting and grouping files in code editors, and finally, for avoiding potential naming conflicts with future Next.js file conventions. On a side note, if you want to include an underscore in URL segments, you can prefix the folder name with percentage %5f, which is the URL encoded form of an underscore. Feel free to replace underscore with percentage %5f for the lib folder, and let me know in the comment section if you can view page.tsx in the browser. All right, in the next video, we will explore another feature Next.js offers to help organize your project. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.